Hi! It's the first time that I'm doing a sit down video in quite a while and it's almost 12.30, like a little afternoon and I just woke up from a nap. I got up really early, did some stuff, went to the gym, went back to bed. So here I am now having breakfast after I already had like leftovers from dinner. I'm considering this my actual morning. <laughs> so here's my French press. I'm gonna pump it down a bit, pour some good old coffee. This is the Kenya blend from Starbucks that made a perfectly full cup. All right, let's get to talking. Um, oh, I also have some cereal over here that I made, which is really just like, uh, what do they call it? Like puffed wheat with granola and a ton of like nuts, like pecans, frozen banana. I have this date roll thing rolled up in there. It's good, it's good stuff. I was gonna put blackberries on it. Yeah, it has good cow nibs in there, blackberries. I'm gonna tell you about some things that I've been loving because I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I have not been reading and when I started this list I wasn't reading right now I'm, I'm in the middle of two books. Look at me go. I'm listening to the audible version of Born a Crown by Trevor Noah I Trevor Noah narrates it himself and I had never heard his voice previously because I had never watched his show But his story is so interesting He was born during the apartheid and at that time it was a crime to be a mixed race. He had a black mother and a white father, so he it was literally a crime for him to be alive and is talking all about his life. And he has some really fascinating stories and just the way that he tells stories is really great because it just flows really well. I'm really enjoying it. I listen to it at the gym. I've been going to the gym. That's a new thing. Happy 2018, everybody. Um, I've been going to the gym for a few months now and I started running and training for a marathon. I don't know what marathon I would like to do. I've looked at the list a bunch of times. Um, I haven't even gotten to running 5k at a time yet. Uh, that's going to be my goal within the next six weeks. So I'm very far away. I'm a beginner runner, but I really, really like it. It relieves so much tension. My last two videos have been running vlogs, so if you haven't seen those, I will uh, show those to you down below just so you can track my progress. And if you would like to see more of those, let me know. I just figured you guys like seeing vlogs, so running vlogs, not that different from reading vlogs, really. Just me showing you a lot of food and then some other stuff. The other book that I'm reading currently is actually on my Kindle, and it is called Don't Live for Your Obituary by John Scalzi. John Scalzi is the writer of Old Man's War and Red Shirts. He's a huge science fiction writer. I've read those two books and really enjoyed them previously, and this is just a compilation of a bunch of blog posts that he's done, and it's all about the world of writing and the whole publishing business and his opinions on it. And it's fascinating because there are things that, like, as a reader, you wonder about. And then he just tells you straight out like how best-selling lists or how different best-selling lists affect authors, how reading within different formats affect authors and like buying those like bargain price books, how Amazon in general has changed the publishing industry in such a twisted way. He's fascinating um, and very blunt <laughs> and I really am enjoying reading all of his compilated uh, blog posts. I think that it's really really neat and it was a really good way to get me back into the reading zone because I love memoirs about writing and this isn't even necessarily a memoir even though you do get bits and pieces of his life. It's more just sharing his opinions I love it. It's great. <laughs> so that's what I've currently been into, but let me tell you the whole list of things that I really, really enjoyed within the past few months that I want to talk to you about, but I didn't because I haven't been sitting down making videos. I am very into filming. I just, I, I live with a roommate and he literally, we share a wall, so I don't, I feel bad doing it while he's here and there's very rare times where I'm home, one, like I'm never home. Um, when I have a day off, I'm usually just like running around or I'm going to a friend's house or my boyfriend's house, etc. When I am home, I feel like we're both home at the same time and I don't want to make anyone uncomfortable. Not that he would. He's really cool with this stuff. I just, I would feel more uncomfortable than he would, I think. My Life is a Zucchini, probably my favorite movie that I watched last year. It's really good, but it's so dark and I don't even really know how to explain it other than it's about... It's, it's a French movie. It wasn't translated or anything. I had the captions on for English and it's just so good. It's just about this little boy and it has a very tragic, I can't even really tell you anything. It just, it starts really tragic and then he meets people along the way that help him out. And it's beautiful. My life is a zucchini. Watch it. I want to say it's on Netflix now. 
I'm pretty positive that it's on Netflix. If not, then it might be on Amazon Prime. I'll check. I will write it down below where it is. It's only like an hour and 10 minutes or something too. It's pretty short. Uh, Big Mouth, that was also a thing on Netflix that I really, really enjoyed. It was just this funny thing that I could throw on in the background. Uh, and it was also smart. I really, really enjoy when things made by SNL people, or SNL is usually the case here, where they make something that's funny, but also is really, really intelligent to its core. Big Mouths, really enjoyed that. Two other shows that I'll talk about here are uh, two Netflix originals, Black Mirror and uh, The End of the Fucking World. These are the things that I most recently watched. I watched season four of Black Mirror. It was so incredible my very very favorite episode was the very first episode i have to check real quick to see what these episodes are called for you because black mirror is episodic you could literally watch them in any order so if i'm telling you what episodes to watch i want you to watch these two specifically and then maybe a third one if you haven't watched black mirror at all ever the first episode that i always suggest to people is nosedive which is in season three i believe it's the first episode of season three so good they're just the production value is amazing and it's just incredible storytelling i really don't like how netflix looks on the computer not going to lie to you all right black mirror so from season four the three that i would recommend the top one that i would recommend the most is the first episode the uss callister so good the second one hang the dj so good and then the last one black museum so trippy so so trippy would highly recommend and then just a few days ago i watched all of the end of the fucking world wow <laughs> it was it was a lot um could be very triggering for a number of people i would look more into it if uh you think anybody suffering from anxiety or depression or anybody who has struggled before with suicidal thoughts uh trigger warning for it i feel like it could be really triggering but it was just it was formatted really well I really, really enjoyed watching it. It's about two 17 year olds and their journey. I feel like I can't tell you anything about any of these things because they just get so intense so fast. That's it for TV and movies. I want to talk about music really quick um, because I never really have music favorites. I just listen to the same things that I listened to in high school <laughs> all the time. But I recently discovered Dirty Heads, and they're one of my new favorite bands now. I really, really love all of their music, and I really like running to it. A lot of it's really reggae, and then they have some really good rap songs, too. Um, I just really, 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 really love their stuff. Very into it. I usually leave below my running playlist, and that has a lot of their more like high-intensity songs in it. Uh, you could also find any of their stuff on Spotify really quality. Another thing that I really love, so about two years ago um, on my birthday my sister gave me lavender. I don't really remember why, I just remember talking to her about me being stressed or something or my stress levels and she gave me this tiny little essential oil thing to keep in my uh, pocketbook and just to rub on me when I'm feeling stressed out and it has lavender in it. I didn't even really use it a lot but I just remember really really enjoying the smell and then I got this lavender candle from Bath and Body Works a few months back and I realized my absolute love for the smell of lavender and I just kept drinking like lavender kombucha and everything. I just love lavender now. So this candle is pretty much done for. I need to get a new lavender candle but then I also got for Christmas in like a little gift pack this Sleepy Body Lotion from Lush, and it also has lavender in it. I'll just rub some of this on the back of my hands before I go to bed. My hands tend to get really dry, and I love lavender now. That's it. Those are just some things that I've been really into uh, since I haven't been reading. And now I am reading again, and life is good, uh, but I will still continue to consume more content uh, within the other realms of media because I really enjoy that as well. Please let me know down below what you are reading, listening to, watching. I definitely have a lot more TV shows that I am interested in getting into. If you haven't watched Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee, it's on Netflix right now. I watched it while it was like on his website, but now all of the episodes are on there. It's all about Jerry Seinfeld talking with other comedians. Again, a really nice thing to put on in the background. That's it. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my breakfast. Have a great day. Bye!